YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Uh, fans, what's going on? It's NFL here with another game. And yes, it's, it's official. This doesn't come as a shock or as a surprise to anybody. We all knew the 17-game schedule was coming. We knew it was on the way, but by last year, when they added those two playoff teams, we knew that 17-game schedule was literally like right around the corner. Right around the corner. And trust me, this is not it. This is just a prelude. Shout out to NBA 2K. I was just playing that. But this is just a prelude to the 18-game schedule. But we got a little ways for that. That's We got a couple years, at least a couple years for that one. But you know the 18-game schedule is going to be on the way. Because what the NFL has almost done, they forced themselves to make it an 18-game schedule. Because right now you got a 17-game a schedule. But then a lot of teams could start complaining and could be like, oh, well, this is not fair. Well, that's not fair. Well, who, who, is, who is determined to be the home team and the away team in that last game of the season? Who gets that? And why do they get that? And wait a minute, that's not fair that this team gets nine home games. This team only gets uh, eight. That's, what's that about? So then the NFL can be like, oh, you know what? That's right. So let's add an 18th game so it's nine and nine. Fair. There we go. We fixed the problem. Even though it's 16 games. It, anyway. So, the Ravens, in their 17-game schedule, the last team that they play is the L.A. Rams. I don't know how that was determined. I don't know why it was determined. Ravens will be the home team for that game, but they will be going up against the L.A. Rams. Uh, and it looks like the uh, NFC West is playing the AFC North because the Seahawks take on the Steelers. Uh, the Rams take on the Ravens. The Cardinals take on the Browns, and the 49ers take on the Bengals. So, NFC West comes to pay AFC North a visit at the crib, and we'll just see how that goes. Now, that already adds, that, that that's a tough game in itself. I mean, Rams already have a very good defense, and of course, their team is not being done, being constructed, uh, and they obviously added uh, Matt Stafford, um, still got Robert Woods, uh, still got Cooper Cup, um, so they're going to be they're gonna be something. They're going to be some. Definitely are that defense. They got that former Ravens cornerback. Uh, what's it? Daryl Williams, I think. And they got that should have been Ravens cornerback, Jalen Ray. Oh, we don't need to get into that. So, Ravens schedule. It was already determined who Ravens opponents were, but now they got that little bonus opponent. Because, uh, of course, they play the Steelers twice, Browns twice, uh, Bengals twice. So, you can take the AFC North and some other home games that they have. Uh, they play the Colts. They play the Chiefs. <laughs> they play the Chargers, the Packers, ooh, and the Vikings. They play all those games at the crib. Uh, so those are those are their opponents in their away games. Uh, we already talked about the AFC North, but their other away games are the Raiders, the Broncos, the Bears, the Lions. And th this last opponent is actually another Ravens home game because, like I told y'all, man, y'all already know. These, yeah, they are the Baltimore Ravens, but they're really the Florida Ravens. So they come down here to play. <laughs> oh, man. They come down here to play the Miami Dolphins this upcoming season. So that is an away game, but it's really a home game. Because that's all the Ravens. just they just going to be playing at the crib. That's it. That's it. So if Benjamin Victor or Deion Kane, say for instance, those two are on the, the practice squad, I say Ravens be petty and elevate them just for that game. Elevate them just for that game. Of course, Lamar, Hollywood, Sammy Watkins. <laughs> ah, man. I know I love the Florida Ravens, man. You already know. But anyway, um, this whole this this 17 game schedule NFL, they continue to talk about we're actually they kind of toned it down recently because I, I think maybe people caught on. But anyway, NFL would always talk about, oh, we're about player safety. It's about player safety. Hey, you guys want to complain about all these penalties that we're adding in the game? Huh. Well, guess what? It's not about you. It's about the players and it's about the safety of our players. 
That's why we add these penalties. The the defenseless uh, receiver penalty, that's why a, a running back, a, they couldn't truck, they couldn't lead with their head. That's why a defender, they can't tackle with the crown of their helmet. It's so many penalties, but it's to protect our players. So get this. So what we want to do, because we add so many penalties and all these rules to protect our players. So what we really want to do to protect them even more is have them out there on the field for an additional game, an additional 60 minutes going head to head with each other because we care about player safety so much. You feel me? I think you do. It just, it doesn't make any sense, like, whatsoever. And, of course, you know, the NFL, I think another reason why they added this whole 17th game is because of money. Again, NFL, bottom line, NFL is a business. It's a business. And what are businesses in this thing to do? What are businesses in business to do? To make money. That's what they're in it to do, to make some money. Now, with that being said, this past season, I think this past season really sort of pushed the NFL. I mean, we were going to get to 17 games anyway, but this past season really pushed the NFL to be like, okay, let's do it right here, right now. Because I'm sure this was something that's been in the works because NFL doesn't just come up with these decisions like this randomly. Like, oh, they don't wake up one day, be like, oh, you know what? Let's add a uh, 17th game. No, it doesn't happen like that. Now, with some of the calls that you see in some of the NFL games, sometimes it seems like them refs wake up one day and be like, you know what? I just got to get this defensive holding call out of my system. I don't even care if it's close, but that's beyond the point. So, NFL, this has obviously been something that's been in the works for a while, but I really think that last season really pushed this uh, and just really had NFL, the owners and executives, it, it, it had them make it up in their mind like, okay, we're going through with it this year. Why? Because last year, Due to the entire pandemic, they did, while they did still make a lot of money, NFL still made a bootload of money. They could have made even more had they had a regular amount of fans in the stadium. They could have made tons more money. But unfortunately, due to the pandemic, they didn't. So they, they lost out on a lot of money. But now you add a 17th game. So that's, again... That's what the, the, you got the TV deals too now. Don't forget about that because that's even more sponsorships. That, that, that's even more TV time. That's even more fans going to those games because, you know, like week one, it's going to be fans at all the stadiums. You already know it is. There's going to be fans at all the stadiums, whether they, is, they are packed or whether they do spaced out or what. It's probably going to be packed. It's probably going to be regular because you see like airlines, they've been going crazy recently. Uh, restaurants, they regular again. It's so much. Well, at least down here in Florida, down here in Florida, like everything. If it was up to Florida, everything would be packed. That's why they always call people from Florida crazy. But everything would be packed like because that's how it is right now. It like if you South Florida, at least I don't know about North Florida, but South Florida, if you go driving around, you will see like everything. It looks normal. Only thing is different that people got masks. Well, some people got the mask on, but um, everything's open. So I think with NFL, it's gonna be wide open with them too. But they're gonna try to not only recoup the money that they lost last year, but try to make even more on top of that. So they're like, oh yeah, seventeen games, yeah, why not? And they still gonna have that extra playoff game too. So. Yeah, man, they whew, this is definitely going to be a, a big bounce back year for them. And I think that cap, it is they're definitely going to be able to put it way up, like way up. Now, usually every year it goes up by about, I think, I want to say 10 mil. I think based off of how much money they could possibly make this season, then it may even go up by like 12 mil. Now, of course, that would be sort of playing catch up to this year since it dropped. But I think the increase from the cap, the salary cap from this year to next year is going to be like very, very significant and more significant than it normally is because of all this money that the NFL is going to be making. Because I know they just signed a new TV deal and now they agreed to all the Super Bowls until like, I want to say till like 2030, maybe 2031, maybe even 2034. But they, they like, they, they got the bread coming in, man. 
So that's that, man. But anyway, I, I guess it is what it is. Ravens versus Rams again. And I mean, the last time we saw Ravens versus Rams, it was pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. I know a lot of y'all did too. Um, but yeah, that, that was a beautiful game. So I wonder how they're going to uh, like really designate the, the time slots and everything for when each team plays the game. And just uh, anyway, I'm, I'm not an NFL schedule maker, so I'm just a fan. So I just sit back, wait and see how it goes. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like a 16 game schedule is with the NFL now, I'm out.